So today what we are going to do is we are going to try to revive the Ryobi blue old school drill that I killed uh, like about a month ago or a little bit longer than that. This is model number P201. It is the half inch drill driver. Now when it comes to when I did the test for this, it started smoking the first time using it. And so after seeing that, I knew it wasn't going to do any, any good in any test period. So I said, let's kill this thing. And I did, but we are going to take this apart and see what went wrong inside, why it started smoking in the first place. Let's see if any wires are disconnected or we're going to see if the motor just flat out looks like it just died. So let's take this apart and see if we could try to fix it. So I can't use that. I cannot use this. It does not have a one inch. So I will use get to use my use my favorite tool, the Hilti brushless uh, screwdriver. Because this thing's actually powerful. There we go. All right, so let's see. Let's see what happened to this. There we go. Let's see if any wires are disconnected. Look at that motor. Wow. Look at all that crap that came out of there. Seriously, what the hell is that stuff? No clue. But there is the motor. Ooh. That's not good. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to take this apart. Yeah, see, look at all this. This is just jammed in there. Like this stuff is just jammed in there. But what we are gonna do is we are gonna connect a battery really quick and see if we can physically see what is wrong. Nope. I just flat out think that motor is fried. Yeah, whatever this is right here, this 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 is what melted. This piece right here is what melted. Yeah, I have no clue what that is. See, that's what that's what might have fried it out. There was junk in there, and it overheated. Yeah, because there's major there's major crud inside that inside the coils. Yeah, that, that motor's fried. Well, let's check the gearbox out. There goes the planetary. Alrighty, so I think it's too late to take that chuck off. So here's the planetary orbital gears. It just slides back in like that. Just like that. Yeah, I'm not putting this back together. It's garbage. There's no there's no reason to. Well, let's see if we can take this chuck off. There we go. There are six ball bearings. And there, these parts look good. 
plus sliders. Yeah, inside inside the chuck still looks good. So the parts are still nice and greased up and still shiny. Oh. Very good. Taking off the chuck screw, it is righty loosey, lefty tighty. There it is. The chuck should slide right off. Wow, this is old school. How they used to build these. All right, so for what I could see is that the positive side to the motor fried out. Because as you can see, there's a wire right there and there is none on the other side. I think the positive part of the motor fried out. So I've been trying to, I've been trying to figure out how to take this apart without cutting anything or chipping away at like the uh, structure that's holding it in place. I see, I see how to take it out. There are these four plastic inserts right there. I'm trying to figure out how to take that out without destroying them so I could put it back. But yeah, there's crud in there. That's metal. That's metal. It's clean on there. So yeah, that's uh, that's corrosion and rust. And yeah, these magnets inside aren't that powerful. I uh, I honestly, when it comes to this old school stuff, I do not know how to take that out without destroying it. Which I wish I I wish I knew. I might do some research on it. Yeah, I think that's I think that's crimped in there. Yeah, that's crimped in there. Wow. All right, so, all right, so what they did around here is the the edge, they actually crimped around the end end housing to where the motor gets mounted on and which holds this. So yeah, this edge, this edge is crimped. So I'm not gonna be able to take that out without bending it out. And once you bend that out, it loses its shape. And yeah, you're not gonna be able to get that out without just without uh, ruining it. This is a one-time one. It w once you take that out, you need another one to replace it. So, eh, it's garbage. I just wanted to see if I was able to take this apart and uh, get that out. But it's a one-time. Once you take the take this out, it's not gonna be the same because you are gonna, the metal's gonna bend and you don't want that metal shortening inside because that motor is just gonna get resistance and it might throw the magnets out of place. So, it's garbage, it's garbage. It's all good though, it's an old school drill, it's old school technology. So like when uh, tools get, like I can put this back together no problem with all the the, the rods and the uh, the ball bearings and the orbital gears, uh, but it, there's no use. I'm, it's garbage. It's garbage. So I, I was hoping to get this fixed, but that motor's done. It's it's fried. I'm not gonna get a new one uh, because it's like why, you know, it's it's cheaper just to get, get another used one on eBay or Facebook Marketplace. So. That's pretty much it. I'm sorry. Uh, I was not able to get that apart uh, because it, it, it's crimped together. It's crimped together. But it's okay, though. It's all good. So this has been uh, just a video like that. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.